Hello again everybody and uh, welcome to another Edge Sculpture video presentation. Uh, this time we have come to uh, Africa and uh, we are featuring our rhino bust or rhinoceros bust. Actually, more accurately, this sculpt is the white rhino. Uh, now, the word white uh, is up to some, some question why it's white. It certainly isn't because of the colour. It's actually because of the word wide, mm. or the translation of that from Afrikaans, which is where they say, call it quickly a white rhino, white, yeah. with its wide with rhino. Accent. And yeah. it, it actually means a square-lipped rhino, which you can see from the front. So if I turn it round, yeah. You can see here, look, it's got a very square section to the front of its face. Now that takes it away or basically separates it from the black rhino. The black rhino, slightly smaller than a white rhino, but it has the beak, the beaked front and the very round bottom mm -hmm. to the jaw. Mm -hmm. So in other words, sometimes when you see, see a, a rhino, you've got that traditional look there with the, the, the scoop and the round, roundness of it and the yeah. head. But this is a white or wide rhino so very very and, square and the white rhino yeah. is, is it the largest of the two isn't it it's the largest two yeah. it's actually the second largest land mammal done outside of, of an african elephant. Oh, an elephant yeah. yeah and they're just they're just hugely powerful Massive. machines like about 2.8 tons can be running at you like this but i think the black rhinos are actually slightly more aggressive than the white rhino <laughs> but yeah well, anyway it's a good job if, if that's larger yeah I nonetheless <laughs> nonetheless we do though um uh, paint this in a lighter tone yeah uh, um, albeit I get towards the white or cream. Well, we do call it a white rhino. We do, we yeah. do. But uh, essentially it's available in two hues, which is brown, mm. which is a mocha, or white. Yeah. Again, though, with all of the larger sculpts particularly, the most important thing is to get let the light travel through the piece. So if I turn it round on a 360, you can see yep. the light travelling through. I'll let you carry on with yep. the horn uh, down. Okay. That's it. Yep, same with the horn, of course, uh, well, uh, rhinoceros is Greek for horned nose, is it? or nose horn. See, I didn't yeah. know that, that that's fantastic. Well, rhino is nose, ah. and seros, I think, is, uh, All right, brilliant. is horn. I think I got that right. No, this Obviously, piece, yeah. although it, it's going to be new to many of you if you've just seen this film for the first time, I mean, this piece I sculpted probably about 10 years ago, Dan. Yep. But it is one of my favourites. You know, it, it helped, actually, yeah, to, actually, to launch Edge, didn't it? And, Dan and I, in the early days, when we were first uh, taking Ed, the Edge uh, sculpture on, on the road, so to speak, yeah. to promote it, um, the Rhino was the first lo super large piece. It, yes, we it did. was, yeah. But, uh, yeah, and we still enjoy the many, many uh, flattering remarks we get for it today. So, yes, so there we have the Rhino. And from here, we're going to your 360 presentation yep. of this piece. 360, um, yeah. so, so you can see it, um, as, as you've seen, probably yeah. seen in previous videos on a turnaround and uh, yeah. yeah so without if, any further ado magic button time absolutely but can you also like and subscribe there are we are also posting more videos which you might have already seen in our back catalog and moving forward featuring a lot of pieces not only the new pieces that i'm sculpting but also some of our as we said old favorites as well that yeah, yeah absolutely yeah so, so obviously yes if you do like and subscribe um you'll be notified when we do yeah. release new videos terrific yeah so magic button okay time. magic button time absolutely. okay Three, two, one. 